You are now listening to the How to Evolve podcast. You can find this channel on Twitter, Gab.ai, BitChute, and Minds.com. This is a Real American Patriot channel for Real American Patriots. If you're not a Real American Patriot, please exit the channel. Furthermore, we are not sponsored by any outside interference. That means we're unscripted, unrehearsed, and unedited. With that being said, transmission will commence momentarily. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the Hot Evolve Podcast. My name is Stefan. You can find me on Minds.com, BitChute, Twitter, and get the AI. And most importantly, like, share, subscribe because YouTube are doing some shady things. Because we're because of that, we're riding this until the wheel fall off. On that note, guys, let's start the show. In this episode, I want to discuss the biggest news that happened today with, um, what's this guy named? Alexander Casas and his affiliation with, Je- uh, with um, Jeffrey Epstein's, right? In this article from Breitbart and gonna disclose what happened all right give me one second let me put this up for you guys i really appreciate you for listening to me your time is very value valued over here and without you there wouldn't be a podcast all right so i thank you for your patience and thank you for listening to me and i really appreciate it here you go the article alexander costas resigned as labor secretary amid epstein saga all right if you aren't aware epstein is pedophile just got arrested all right, and that's a major news that happened right now, and he's going to spill a lot of beans. He's considered as an asset now because of all the intelligence he have right now. But let's look at this article. Okay, Secretary of Labor Alexander Acosta. All right, sound like um, what's his name? Jim Acosta. Acosta. Oh, what's, what's all these people named Acosta? Is resigning from his post amid s- scrutiny over the plea agreement. He cut with wealthy invest- investor Jeffrey Epstein for sex abuse charges over a decade ago, right? I think it was during the Bush administration where, Jeff Ste- where Jeff- Jeffrey Epstein got caught and he didn't do it. His service was like, what was his service? His, his, um, his sentence was like, he sleep in jail at the daytime he get to leave to go to his office and work and come back at nighttime to sleep. Basically, he, basically he's camping in a jail. So how is it jail you could, if you could leave freely like that? I don't understand that. So he could leave jail to go work, come back to jail, and sleep, and at the morning he get get out of jail and go work again. How is that jail? How is that a punishment? Is this relocating your 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 destination to sleep? All right. President Trump, with a casa on his side, made an announcement on Friday, moving as he leaves the White House for a trip to Wisconsin, Ohio. The president just said a casa has been a great labor secretary. All right. Because Donald Trump wasn't, he, he wasn't trying to um, fire him. He, he left the option to him, to Acosta himself. All right? He left the option. Because, look, Donald Trump's not the guy that's fired people. You got, you got to have a really good reason to fire people. But if, if you have a really good reason, he don't want to be so controversial. So he let, it, he let it up to the people to do it for himself. So he let it, he let it up to Acosta to, should he, get a fu- should he leave or not leave? So ultimately, Acosta decided to leave. He resigned. I hate to see this happen. The president said, "He said he he said he did not ask Acosta to leave the cabinet. Exactly, he did not ask him. He let him, he gave him a choice. Acosta said he resigned would be effective to se- in seven days. Acosta said he did not think it was right for this handling of Epstein cases to distract from his work as Secretary of Labor. I do not think it is right for a fair administration labor department to have Epstein's as a focus rather than the incredible economy. My point here today is we'll have a amazing economy and force needed on the economy. Job creation, Acosta said. Acosta was a U.S. attorney at Miami when he was overseas in 2008. Non- non-persecution agreement with Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein avoided federal charges, plead guilty to a state charges, and served 13 months in jail. Right? N- not in jail. He slept in jail. Similarly charged, recently filed against Epstein by federal pros- prosecutor in New York City had put Acosta Row in the 2008 under renewed scrutiny. President Trump initially defended Acosta and said he was he would look very closely at his handling in 2008 agreement. Epstein is 66. That's a occultic number right there, 66. All right. There's a reason why he, there's a is a numerology. There's a reason why he got arrested at the age of 66. Reaching out in the deal of, um, secretly and, and, and federal abuses investigation involving at least 40 teens girl that could have 
landed him behind bars for life. He instead pleaded guilty in the state charges, spent 13 months in jail, paid settlements to victims, and is a registered sex offender. Acosta held a Wednesday news conference to defend his action in a 50-plus minute lawyer, lawyerly rebuttal. Acosta argued his, his office has secured the best deal it could come at the time was working on the victim's best interest. Time have changes and coverage of this case have certainly changed its time. 2008, Acosta told reporters, facts are important and facts are being overlooked. Simply put, Palm Beach State Attorney Office was ready to let Epstein walk off free. No jail time, he added. Prosecution um, in my f um, former office found that this is a completely unacceptable. So he basically fought for, for, for him to do the time. I uh, sure it wasn't the right time, but at least he got him to the time. So b basically, a constant argument is that if he don't prosecute him, um, the the Florida the Florida attorney will just let him off, right? So I think in I think in Co in a constant point of view, it's better off for him to serve this little of a time than it is to serve no time at all. I think that's that's what I'm getting, right? Let me know. Leave a comment below, right? I think that's what he's trying to say. Like, I would rather have let him serve time than for him to walk off. Democratic congressional leadership called Acosta exit of the administration over a plea deal. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi tweeted on Monday, Secretary Acosta must step down as a U.S. attorney, attorney and engage in an unconscionable agreement with Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, but you get paid off by him, all right, Nancy Pelosi? Kept secret from the courageous young victim, preventing them from seeking justice. This is known as this is known by POTUS when he appointed him in the cabinet. How could you say that? How do you know? Could you read his mind? <laughs> How do you know for sure, Nancy Pelosi? The following day, Senator Majority Leader Chuck Schumer echoes the speaker comments accusing the former Miami federal prosecutor of being a Indian in the hedge fund managers. Indian, I think that's how you pronounce it. N Indian. Lenient, not Indian, lenient. Instead of prosecuting predators and serial traffic traffickers of children, Acosta chose to let him off easy. He said, "This is not acceptable. He could not have has one of the leading appointment of official in America. Someone who have done this. You know who was Jeffrey Epstein lawyer at the time? It was Adam Dershowitz, right? This liberal attorney, right? That's." That's being sued right now. Adam Dershowitz, this commentator on Fox News, is being sued right now. All right? And it's said that he was, he, he probably got a little something, something from Jerry Epstein, right? Some, some favors. All right? That's why he's being sued right now. But that's the end of the article. All right? That's the end of the article. And... And people like to say it is connected to Trump. You know what? Trump has already made this point, all right? He already said he know Jerry Epstein, but he didn't know the fact that it was like this. He he when when he found out that Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein was a creep, he um he banned him from his Mar-a-Lago. And plus, there was there was there was no record that Trump traveled to his island, all right? When, I think what, what Trump is trying to say is when he found out that Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein was a very sleazy guy, he don't he he cut connection with him. All right? People want to say, oh, he was on Epstein flight log, right? Yeah, he was on Epstein flight log, but he wasn't flying to his island. He was catching a ride back to New York. All right? So, so, and plus he's a rich people. All rich people know each other like this. All right? Just because you're rich doesn't mean you're good friend with everybody. All right? Just because you have money doesn't, doesn't mean you're a good friend with everybody that, that have money. All right? A lot of even, rich people don't like Trump. All right, just because I know this guy, that doesn't mean I'm best friend with him. Just because I know this, this is back, let's say, let's say in high school, just because you know the, just because you know the popular guy, doesn't mean you go hang out with him every day at at his house. All right, it's like that. So just because Trump are rich and know him, all rich people know each other. That doesn't mean they are good friends. That 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 doesn't mean they're in cahoots. All right, not all rich people are bad people. All right, this idea that say all rich people are, are ultimate bad people. That's not the case, all right? 
you gotta look at the person themselves. Not all rich people are bad people. But you could say celebrities people, yeah, maybe. <laughs> These Hollywood uh, satanic, maybe they are. All right? But people want, want to use this false fallacy, false equivalence, false equivalence, equivalency. All right? Just because you know somebody, just because you're rich and you don't know a rich guy, you're, you're guilty by association. That's what it is. Guilty by association. They like to use that. All right? But that's what story that's happened. That's the biggest story that happened. Um, Alexander Costa resigned as labor secretary. All right? And he was doing a good job. Uh, he was main, one of the main reasons why the not the unemployment rate is so low right now. All right, it was under his watch, and now he had now Donald Trump had to find another person. A shame. It's all shame. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. All right, what do you think about Adam Acosta? Is he affiliated with this? Let me know what you think. If I messed up, correct me in the comment below. I don't know, guys, because. Of what I'm saying, YouTube don't want to monetize my channel because I'm unscripted, unrehearsed, unedited. That means I can say what I want without being bounded by any outside interference, right? Um, because of that, I'm not taking no donation, any donation. The point of this channel is to get you to think for yourself, all right? So uh, I don't want you to be a group thinker, all right? You don't have to agree with everything I said. Just don't be a group thinker. That's the point of this channel, all right? If you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, because when you like, share, and subscribe, it encourages me to make more videos. When I make more videos, I set your YouTube algorithm. When I set your YouTube algorithm, it'll make my video more expensive to a broad audience. Within those audience, I might enlighten them to think for themselves. Because group thinking will get you, get you killed. Right? Group thinking is communism. Group thinking is socialism. Group thinking is democratic group thinkers. Group thinking is Black Lives Matter. Group thinking is Antifa. Right? You think in the group, you're not thinking for yourself. So basically, basically when one die, all you guys have to die. Uh, you walk off the cliff together. How does that make sense? All right, that's very dangerous. Group thinking account for 90 million deaths within the last century due to communism. That's group thinkers. All right, that's the point. That's why I'm, in, in, I'm not taking any, any donation. But if a person, were a, um, but if I'm able to persuade a person to think for himself, I achieve my mission. That's what all that matters. But anyway, I know your time is very precious. I try not to waste any time. This is the Hollywood Podcast. My name is Stefan, and I'll check you out in the next broadcast. Peace.